What's up you guys, it's Exploring with India and today you guys we got another movie reaction for you guys. We have Forrest Gump you guys. First time ever, it says 1994, PG-13, drama and romance. So let's see what the talk is about, let's explore, let's see if they're your favorite homegirl's eyes. And of course you guys give me your opinions down below. The best scene, the best part you liked about it. Without further ado, let's jump straight to this Forrest Gump. I'm pretty excited because you guys... You guys been hyped about this. You guys been hyping this up. So I want to see what the hype is about. Let's go. Let's see. We did Castaway. Tom Hanks playing here. But I do believe on the cover of the um, movie, it shows he is younger. So I'm pretty excited about that too. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Those must be comfortable shoes. I bet you could walk all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. They have the nice suit with like the rundown tennis shoes. Swag. I've worn lots of shoes. Hey, Forrest. His legs are strong, Miss Gump. As strong as I've ever seen. But his back's as crooked as a politician. Mm. Mama said that the forest part was to remind me that sometimes we all do things that, well, just don't make no sense. We had all these empty rooms. Mama decided to let those rooms out, mostly to people nice. passing through. Oh, they got a big house. Did you hear what I said, Forrest? You are no yes. different. Your boy's <laughs> different. I cannot stand people. We don't want to see anybody left behind. So why are you talking like that? Wow. Well, your mama sure does care about your schooling, son. The disrespect. You don't say much, do you? Say what? <laughs> no! Uh, that's all I just heard! Mama, what's vacation mean? Vacation? Where daddy went. Vacations when you go somewhere and you don't ever come back. It's okay, Forrest. My dad went on vacation too. <laughs> Folks living out of their suitcases and hat cases. <laughs> well, no, that's all right, man. I, I was just showing him a thing or two on the guitar here. <laughs> Say, man, show me that crazy little walk you did. supposed to be Elvis? Oh, this is iffy. You ain't nothing but a I like that guitar. Oh, when we see him on TV, doing your moves. Ah. But did I get credit? Just a little bit. <laughs> Remember the bus ride on the first day of school. Very well. Are you coming along? Mama said not to be taking rides from strangers. <laughs> I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. I'm Dorothy Harris. Well, now we ain't strangers anymore. Oh. And then, like, she is smoking on the bus. Was that allowed back then when you was growing up? Well, I have never seen such. I, let me know. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Secondhand smoke, baby. Sweet taken. I do remember the first time I heard the sweetest voice in the wide world. I had never seen anything so beautiful in my life. She was like an angel. What's wrong with your legs? I'm nothing at all, thank you. My legs are just fine and dandy. And had a conversation all the way to school. No one ever talked to me or asked me questions. Are you stupid or something? Mama says so stupid as a stupid does. From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. Come on, Forrest, you can do it! I showed her how to dangle. And I showed her how to swing. Mama's gonna worry about me. Just stay a little longer. Okay, Jenny, I'll stay. She was my... Most special friend. No, I'm Forrest Gump. Just run away, Forrest. Hey, hurry! What the ass, Forrest? I kill you. From that day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running. He said I was running. 
He was always kissing and touching her and her sisters. Ew. Yeah, so the kissing and touching is not the lovey-dovey father kissing and touching. He's an ass. Oh, and they pray. Mama always said that God is mysterious. Hmm. He is, he is. She went to live with her grandma. She was so close. I think she got away. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. Hey, stupid! Quit it! Are you serious? Run for Okay, are we supposed to run from everything though, Jenny? I never thought it would take me anywhere. <laughs> Into the game. I got to go to college oh, too. Like we need him. <laughs> All you know how to do is run. But college. <laughs> and he keeps running. Ma'am, <laughs> Governor Wallace did what he promised to do. Right. How are you upset that he helped someone? Ah! Say, wasn't that go? <laughs> Ran for president. Oh. No, it's a number four. <laughs> nice chatting. It was nice talking to you. Jenny went to a college I couldn't go to. <laughs> it was a college just for girls. So he's just telling everybody that sits down his life story. What? Okay, so Forrest is one of a kind. But I go and visit her every chance I got. And he's waiting in the rain. I know that it's not her in the car. What are you doing? Get the hell going here. No, he's doing it. Get away from Please, me. Don't. I'll go back to my college now. Forrest. Oh. You can already tell Forrest is just so caring. I want to be famous. I just want to be comfortable. I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. I want to I wanna get out the hood. Uh, I want to reach people on a personal level. John! Yeah, how can I concentrate when daddies are out? No, you are not. Uh, this is getting awkward. Look at her face. I'm telling in the morning. The president of the United States. That's a big deal. No, oh, look at him. He done drunk so much. He has to use it. And he's on camera. Hurry. Congratulations. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. <laughs> no shame in his game. <laughs> Somebody shot that nice young president when he was riding in his car. Forrest, I'm so proud of you. Here, I'll hold this for you. Congratulations, son. Have you given any thought to your future? I'll sit down if you want to. You ever been on a real shrimp boat? No. First question? Well, I've been on a real big boat. My given name is Benjamin Buford Blue. People call me Bubba. Just like one of them old redneck boys. Can you believe that? Okay. Go! What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant? God damn it! I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. You're a goddamn genius. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. <laughs> you a genius. Dundra Sergeant! Why did you put that weapon together so quickly, Gump? You tell me to, Drill Sergeant. Jesus H. Christ! <laughs> this is a new company record. I thought he was in trouble at first. Lord. Shrimp kebabs, shrimp creole, shrimp okay. gumbo. So, Bo loves shrimp. <laughs> Turns out, Jenny had gotten into some trouble over some photos of her in her college sweater. My baby does the hanky pain. So Jenny naughty. <laughs> okay, hey, honey, I've got something to hear for you. Yes, for so so good. Good. Some men <laughs> don't know how to be respectful. Damn it! Hey, stupid! Hey, Come to the Remember that time we prayed, Forrest? We pray for God to turn me into a bird so I could fly far, far away. I gotta get out of here. 
White Jenny. I just came into town. They sent me to Vietnam. This is whole other country. This is the real deal. Just hang on a minute. Hang on, you're still not gonna give him time? Just, if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Just run away. So that is her answer to life. Run from everything. You come back safe to me. Do you hear? Very different from the United States of America. Except for all the beer cans and the barbecue. You must be my FNGs. Morning, sir! Oh, get your hands down. Do not salute. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. Hi, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Try and keep your feet dry. When we're out humping. I want you boys to remember to change your socks whenever we stop. Me calling the leader grunts feet right off his legs. <laughs> Is that a black or mild in his mouth? Take good care of your feet, too. Try not to do anything stupid. Yeah, that's getting the yourself thing. killed. Dan was always getting these funny feelings about a rock or a trail. Or the... Get down. Shut up. Get down. Shut up. So we did. I can whisper. Get out river. Move out. That must be stressful. Very stressful. There is. Little bit of stinging rain. Big old fat rain. Rain that flew in sideways. I got a very important question to ask you. Would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? We're in the middle of a war? Okay. I'll be the captain. We can just work it together. Split everything right down the middle. Man, I'm telling you, 50-50. How real is that? He didn't say 50-30. He said 50-50. All the shrimp you can eat. Oh, oh. I'd always let her know that I was okay. Oh. Then I'd sign each letter. Love, Forrest, Gump. Ooh, stop right there. Stopped raining just for the storm. You know, somebody tell him to run. You, we know what force is going to do. So far, so fast. That pretty soon, I was all by myself, which was a bad thing. All your men. Are still out there and Bubba. Oh, this is not good. Bubba! Well, that was this boy laying on the ground. Just letting him lay there all alone and scared the way he was. <laughs> boy, this is such a good man. Lieutenant Dan, call his dad! I know he's dead! My whole goddamn platoon is wiped out! And his legs are shot. Getting you out of there. Just leave me here. Get out. Said leave me. Where the hell you think you're going? I got an airstrike inbound right now. They're gonna nate the whole area. Don't you stay here, God damn it! That's an order. I gotta find Bobo. Is it him? Okay, boys. I'm okay. What just happened? You got shot. <laughs> then Bubba said something I won't ever forget. I want to go home. His second friend, best friend, and he was dying. He said, I want to go home. That's all I had to say about that. Yes, sir. Bit me directly in the butt talks. In the butt talks. All of this, he is still calm and 
I don't know if he's happy, but he is definitely calm eating an ice cream. Gump, how can you watch that stupid Russia, shit? Turn it off. You are due to the American forces. <laughs> and he turns it straight off. Now the secret to this game is, no matter what happens, never, ever take your eye off the ball. I played ping pong, even when I didn't have anyone to play ping pong with. <laughs> You listen to me. We all have a destiny. Died out there with my men. But now, I'm nothing but a goddamn cripple. See that? Do you know what it's like not to be able to use your legs? Y yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that was my destiny. And you cheated me out of it. Hmm. So... Lieutenant Dan about to take his anger, his anger out on the world, especially Forrest. Forrest is the one that saved him. Oh. You still, Lieutenant Dan. He said you still, Lieutenant Dan. Gump is the best. <laughs> work, son. You've been awarded the Medal of Honor. Guess what, Lieutenant mm -hmm. Dan? They want to give me a Lieutenant Dan gone. Second time on TV and earning medals from the president. <laughs> he has accomplished a lot. In the butt talk, son. Oh, well, that must be a sight. I'd kind of like to see that. Don't tell him that. He's not the one. <laughs> oh, that is one time thing in the world. Showing the president show ass. He acted a ass. <laughs> there was this man giving a little talk, and for some reason he was wearing an American flag for a shirt. So they are against the army. It says peace. And he is about to go up there and talk to him. Although he's not violent, he was just in the war. Thing I could say about the war in Vietnam. There's only one thing I can say about the war in Vietnam. <laughs> oh, protest of man. And in this goddamn boiler! And Jimmy, out of nowhere. This is so iffy. Then get your white ass away from that window. Don't you know we in a war here? Rape our women and destroy our black community. So impressive. <laughs> Where's Gump? Forrest, this is Wesley. Wesley, not Wesley like think he's big and bad. Why? He just slapped the fuck out of her. Forrest is not hearing nothing. I shouldn't have brought you here. I should have known it was just because you wanted to hit her. Asshole. And yes, isn't that, I mean, part of the protest, I know what the protest is, obviously, but a woman is a woman and you've just seen women get hit and you guys are on force back like he did something wrong. I'm confused. And you saying get out, like, what you're letting him stay, Wesley, whatever his name is. Make it make sense. I wanted to be your boyfriend. She knows. She wants to keep you in a friend zone. It was a very special night for the two of us. Probably only for you. Just this thing? war and that, that lying son of a bitch Johnson. Excuses, but you're gonna go back with this man. That all her men has been rough to her and the gentle one, the gentle one she does not want. I would never hurt you. You know We've that. seen you lie. Some people, you just gotta let them live their life, live and learn. Why are you so good to me? Yes, answer. You're my girl. I'll always be your girl. Four is definitely, he makes me want to be a better person. <laughs> like he just sees the positive out of everything. 
even if it always goes negative. And in China, they never go to church. His nope. name, I react to him. He does music. He got assassined. Um, ooh. It's on the tip of my tongue. Do not kill me down in the comments. Just let me know. I know who it is. <laughs> Religion too? Oh. Hard to imagine. It's bothering me now. It's easy if you try, Dick. They Look gave at him with his long hair. The Congressional Medal of Honor. Yes, sir. They surely did. Well, that, that's just perfect. <laughs> Stuff bothers him. He's only human, but he make it seem like nothing bothers him. One thing to say to that God damn less America. Help him. <laughs> And he just stands there. Have you found Jesus yet? No. No, I was supposed to be looking for him, so. <laughs> He's one of a kind. I have to help myself. Now, if I, I accept it. Jesus into my heart, I'll get to walk beside him in the kingdom of heaven. I'm going to heaven, Lieutenant Dane. Yes, sir. We're at approximately 45th Street in New York City. Look, we don't know who get into heaven. But what we do know is Forrest, he might be there, you know? <laughs> He's just like an awesome human. Like, how? That's sad you have to ask how. I made me a promise to Bubba in Vietnam that as soon as the war was over, We'd go in partners. He'd be the captain of the shrimp boat and I'd be his first mate. It's gonna be a shrimp boat, Captain. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Gilligan. The Dan is being an ass, as usual. <laughs> Day that you are a shrimp boat, Captain, I will come and be your first mate. <laughs> if you're ever... Prove him wrong. <laughs> it's funny, but in the middle of all that fun, I began to think about Jenny. Leaving a man's house, it looked like she had a black eye too. Jenny is living this rough life. But as we see, she came from a background of traumatized. But Forrest came from a background too of being bullied and having something wrong with his body. He didn't make that an excuse at all. Going too hard, girl. <laughs> what are you stupid or something? What's your problem? <laughs> What's your pro Maybe he's just not into you because you're not Jenny. <laughs> Did you lose your packet of See, Dan could talk to him like that, but anybody else? <laughs> Dan said, uh uh. Ever call him stupid? I'm sorry I ruined your New Year's Eve party, Lieutenant Dan. She tastes like cigarettes. I guess Lieutenant Dan figured there's some things you just can't change. He didn't want to be called crippled, just like I didn't want to be called stupid. They're off and they must be looking for a fuse box or something because in flashlights, <laughs> they're keeping me awake. They're stealing. Got your gun. Yes, sir! As you were. I have your discharge papers. Service is up, son. We've had all sorts of visitors, Forrest. Everybody wants you to use their ping pong stuff. One man even left a check for $25,000. If you'd be agreeable to saying you like using their paddle. Well, but Mama, I only like using my own paddle. Hi, Miss Louise. Hey, Forrest. I'm... That oh, Mama, good, she Forrest. sure was right. You look it's funny good. how things work out. Bubba's family and make the introduction. Are you crazy? I just plain stupid. Stupid is stupid does, Mrs. Blue. And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba himself. Well, I'm putting all that on gas, ropes, and new nets, and a brand new shrimping boat. Hey, you ever think about a neighbor that's old boat? It's bad luck to have a boat without a name. The most beautiful name in the wide world. Jenny. This is not good. She better get down. Down. 
playing with death. I thought about Jenny all the time. You always do. I wish you man thought about me like that. Like, this is ridiculous the way he... I guess it's not ridiculous. I just never had it. <laughs> yeah, he made him a promise. Well, thought I'd try out my sea legs. Well, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> you wrote me a letter, you idiot. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Captain Forrest Gump. My boy! Ha -ha! That's where we'll find him! Well, maybe you should just pray for Shrink. <laughs> so I went to church every Sunday. This is not a true story. He is not real. There is no what. Comment down below. No. I think you left the praying up to me. With the alcohol. God showed up. Yeah, so God showed up and he showed out. <laughs> it was a whole hurricane. Biola Battery's entire shrimping industry has fallen victim to Carmen and has been left in utter ruin. To that, shrimping was easy. <laughs> His prayers came alive. Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Well, yes, I would. Yeah, he done met like, what, four or five strangers and told them his whole life story. I never thanked you for saving my life. Never thought he would say that. He's not giving up, is he? He never actually said so. But I think he made his peace with God. Horse had a phone call. Yeah, well, you have to tell him to call him back. He is indisposed at the moment. His mama said. Where's mama? She's upstairs. Hi, Forrest. I'll see you tomorrow. It's just my time. Oh, now. Don't you be afraid, sweetheart. Something we're all destined to do. I didn't know it, but I was destined to be your mama. I did the best I could. You did a good job. You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You never know what you're gonna get. She had got the cancer and died on a Tuesday. And that's all I have to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Like, he's just so calm. Though he did take care of my Bubba Gump money, he got me invested in some kind of fruit company. I the battery fishing hospital. He's so caring. I gave Bubba's Andrew mama friend. Bubba Shea. You know what? She didn't have to work in nobody's kitchen no more. Stay humble. I was a gozillionaire and I liked doing it so much. I cut that grass for free. And she was there. She's always in and out your life. He didn't care about none of that. He still loved her. Hello, Forrest. Jenny. Hello, Jenny. It was wonderful having her home. <laughs> and I feel like that's really why she acts the way she acts. Growing up and as she is now. Being traumatized can mess with some people for the long run. <laughs> but I didn't care. It was like olden times. We was like peas and carrots again. The day I'd pick pretty flowers and put them in a room for her. Forest. 
Where are you at? He said every day. I'd make a good husband, Jenny. Make a great. You husband. would, Forrest. You don't want to marry me. He see no wrong in her. He's tired of being in a friend zone. I would too. Jenny be using him. And she leaves. Where are you running off to? I'm not running. Yeah, that's the word. Where are you running off to? Just start running. Today, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. He's not even jogging, he is running fast. <laughs> Oh, maybe I just run across the great state of Alabama. Rainbow, Alabama, stopping only to sleep, has been running across America. Charles <laughs> How does he always end up on TV, no matter what the situation is? Alabama is about to cross the Mississippi River again what? today. Across Happy America. Sir, they just couldn't believe that somebody would do Doing it for him. running for no particular reason. <laughs> like an alarm went off in my head, you know? I said, here's a guy that's got his act together. Here's somebody who's got it all figured out. Here's somebody who has the answer. <laughs> got a shit together. My stimulus check need to run like Forrest Gump. All the way over here. <laughs> just, I want to apologize for anything that I ever did to you, because... I was always up. mine, basically mine fucking you, <laughs> keeping me in a friend zone. He's like the only man that ever probably cared about you. I mean, it showed from the beginning. Listen, next week my schedule changes, so I'll be able to. But thanks, no problem. I'm up. Gotta go, Jen. I'm double parked. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Uh. Obviously, she's not the babysitter. Babysitter dropping him off. Don't tell me. Then she left right after the first time she ever, ever, <laughs> ever gave him some, but giving the whole world some. Don't tell me. This is my very good friend, Mr. Gump. Here, can you say hi to him? But Hello, Mr. Who Gump. Who are you? We see that. Who the daddy? His name's Forrest. Like me. I named him after his daddy. You got a daddy named Forrest too? Jenny, every time you messed with him, this this is this one you drew the line. Jenny need her ass whooped. Jenny need her ass this boy is like what five years old. You're his daddy Forrest. I can't believe this. Me. You Look sure he's a daddy. <laughs> At the end, you love who you love. You know, the heart wants what it wants. And all his life, his heart wanted Jenny. And that's the end of discussion. He's smart. He's very smart. He's one of the smartest in his class. See how things change. What, do you have a cough due to cold? I have some kind of virus. And the, the doctors don't, they don't know what it is. And there isn't anything they can do about it. Would you marry me, Forrest? Now you want him to be your husband? On your dying bed? I just cannot take this anymore. Said the doctor doesn't know, but the mom had cancer, so back then they knew what cancer was. What does she... Forrest, it's time to start. Dream come true for Forrest. Jenny was out here acting trifling and had a good man waiting on her this whole time, her whole life, until the day she literally, until the day she literally died. And he's not in his wheelchair. Look at him cleaned up. Lieutenant Dang. Excuse me? Kept faith. You got new legs. New <laughs> legs. Yeah, 
I got new legs. And dying. Spores are so fucking funny. This is my Jenny. Hey. My Jenny. You died on a Saturday morning. I had you placed here under a tree. And I had that house of your father bulldozed to the ground. Combs his hair, brushes his teeth every day, teaching him how to play ping pong. And every night we read a book. And she's so smart, Jenny. You understand this is the bus to the school now, don't you? Of course. And you were Dorothy yours. Nine, four, seven. Isn't it the same bus driver? That's how the movie started. Life can definitely be what you make it. And you can have excuse after excuse. But I feel like everybody can be a better them. Everybody has stuff to work on. I feel like we all have been through stuff. We all have a past. And Forrest, he just dealt with life so well. <laughs> I feel like he's not even real. Person, Sammy L. Davis is coming up as Forrest Gump. Who is Sammy L. Davis? <laughs> okay, but not all of this. I just want to know, did he really have this type of mindset. Like I said, it definitely makes me want to be a better person. And I know I was nitpicking with um, Jenny at the end, but I felt like he loved Jenny. He deserved Jenny. Like he was just such an awesome person. And for him to get played, get played the way Jenny played him is, that was definitely making me upset. So ready for this video, 10 out of 10. This is definitely getting a hundred. Like it was just so nice in every single way. It was sad too, of course, definitely emotional. But he just every negative, no matter what, he still had that positive mindset. I don't think I, 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 I stuff got to him. Like stuff got to him, but he dealt with it so well. That just it just blew my mind. <laughs> but Forrest Gump you guys 1994 movie and you guys just seen it through my eyes for the first time I love the mom like she she was a good mom even if people looked at her kid wrong she did not give up like she had to do the dirty dirty to get him in school oh gosh he went through some stuff like we all like a lot of us do but he dealt with his he dealt with it so good you guys he dealt with life so good i'm gonna be a great day <laughs> of course down in the comments you guys let me know how you guys feel about forrest gump how did you guys feel when you first seen it and i just see my full reaction to it you smash like when you guys put more movies down in the comments and we'll definitely keep exploring this one was a good one it was all the stars <laughs>